Hi, I'm Kenneth Weidster. I'm a professional photographer here in Colorado. Welcome to another one of my photography talks. Today I'm going to talk about collections. So here are a couple of my Leicas. And if you have more than one, why do you need any more? And why do we acquire gear? I would, I would suspect we're not acquiring gear when we buy multiple cameras of a type that we'd like to use. I propose that there's a difference between gear acquisition and collecting. And maybe some of that collecting comes from appreciation. But I don't mean collecting in the sense that you buy things and put them on a shelf. I mean we collect things as film photographers because we just appreciate the build quality and if we find a good deal and we can afford to add another camera like this to our, our group of cameras, we can't really pass it up because it's such a, a beautifully made piece and it's come into our you know, space of availability. Now, I find, again, there are people who collect cameras and they just put them on a shelf and they don't touch them. I don't, I'm not thinking I know anybody in that group. And then there are film photographers and I know many film photographers and many of them have a lot of cameras. And do we all need that many cameras? Probably not. But what draws us to them is the build and the style and the design. I think we appreciate good design. That's what we all have in common. And it's not just cameras. There's another kind of collecting that I've been doing. Is anybody out there into typewriters? This is a Skywriter made for typing on an airplane back in the 40s, I believe. It's a Smith Corona. It's a Skywriter. It's a really small, lightweight typewriter. And if you look over here, there's a typewriter there too. I use typewriters. And I just recently watched a great documentary called California Typewriter. If you're interested, take a look. It might get you hooked though on typewriters. But Tom Hanks is one of the proponents of typewriters as a way of making notes that last. In a sense, his use and my use of, of typewriters and paper and note cards to say thank you and to say hello to people and to give a little reminder or a follow-up. It's almost like how we use film and we want to create something that's physical. And I think typewriters do that. And I probably own a dozen of them. And they are such, kind of like the Leicas, they're just such beautiful instruments. They're so well designed and made and they're kind of lovingly made. Most of them, like a camera, also came with a case. And so, just like a camera is often preserved because it's been wrapped in leather the whole time, it's been, you know, sitting in another bag, most of the typewriters have been sitting in a case. So, they tend not to be too dirty, although certainly some are because they've been left out. But it's a great example of, I think, as film photographers, I think we're drawn to that design. I think we see something like that and we can't help but say, wow, that's a beautiful piece. So an extra Leica, yeah, maybe. An extra Nikon S or a Contax camera or a 4x5 made of wood and brass. You can see how we're attracted to that, that element of style and typewriters too. So there's a whole lot of people who collect a lot of typewriters and it probably happens in every kind of thing I'm not even thinking of. I like vinyl records because I like the physical artwork and I like the sound of a vinyl record. So maybe I'm stuck in the past, but I think that what the past has to offer is quality that you can hold in your hand that's real. And in a digital world where everything is kind of nebulous and fleeting, a film camera, a typewriter, they create something that is physical and tangible and we create something that we feel is more real than anything made in a digital world. Anyway, that's my thoughts on collecting, but not collecting again for shelf use, collecting for real use. And I use my typewriters and I use my cameras and it's one of those things that it gives us real pleasure in having more than one. If I was only shooting with a Nikon 850, I don't need four of those. 
And that's the kind of thing where it's like, there's no style to that. That's just a computer that does great work. But this is a piece of art that has lasted the test of time, and I look forward to working with it. All right, that's today's photography talk. A little philosophical. If you're enjoying these, hit the subscribe button. If you can support, hit the Patreon. And thanks so much for watching. I look forward to bringing you more.